that being profitable revenue. You want to make sure you're, you're getting, you know, profit. But I think you ultimately do that, as we discussed in the beginning of the presentation, through relevant customer engagement. You have to be relevant these days or you don't win Mindshare and you don't win your customers. Um, and so we largely frame that around this challenge of, of different channels and what channels are most appropriate to engage that target audience. And that's how most organizations think about this challenge of relevance. Are we, you know, should we go and engage with social? Um, should we go and engage with email? Is that the most appropriate channel for them? Does that make us relevant with, when we deliver certain messages? But I actually think there are two different levers for marketers that, that they can impact revenue um, with. And so what, what I'm talking about here is the marketing execution or, or what I would consider the marketing value chain. Um, we talk about it, and market sphere. We talk about the marketing value chain, which is essentially from planning to creative to execution to, to measurement. Um, it's the whole process of getting that creative idea out to a market. And I like to split this up. And I think these two levers are marketing management on the one side, which is all your back office operations that support marketing, and marketing engagement or customer engagement on the other side. And those are the customer facing communications. And I think. As I said, a lot of organizations would focus very much on marketing engagement as the connectivity issues and, and how we're going to integrate disparate data and have a cohesive customer experience. But I submit that there's actually connecti connectivity issues across the entire value chain. And within most organizations, if you're going to fo focus your finite resources on something, improve your back office operations first and the link between marketing engagement and marketing management. And let me talk about what I mean by these two, and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail here. So I like, the analogy I like to use is marketing execution is like a two sides of the same coin. Um, and you can't read, probably can't read this at all, but essentially on, in the blue it says marketing management, which is, is, is basically your internal marketing, your campaign management, your workflows and approvals, your digital asset management, um, your dashboards. And these are supported by very specific technologies in many cases, marketing asset management, web, you know, web content management, campaign management, marketing resource management. And what we've seen in, because of the proliferation of different technologies is from a customer engagement standpoint, typically there are different technologies that are taking that output from your marketing management process and pushing it through to customers in different channels. Now, in some cases, it's, it's the same system, and I don't think there's a clear line of delineation. Maybe it's a module for one of these systems that's being utilized to push out through these different channels. But the point is, it's really a choice that your organization has to make about what channels are we going to use, what technologies are we going to use, and there's certainly a connectivity issue uh, between all of these. So, Let's now turn to the distributed marketing environment because uh, that's really the focus of today's webinar is how can a distributed marketer improve revenue by this challenge of connectivity? And no discussion of a distributed environment would be complete without looking at the unique challenges of corporate marketing and field marketing. And you know, at a corporate level, marketers are really challenged with managing brand consistency. You know, they, they want to main, maintain a consistent brand across all of their different operations. You have to manage your agency costs, um, corporate execution and targets. They have their own corporate execution and targets that trickle down across the organization. Same thing with the allocating of budget. And, and ultimately, it's about managing the customer experience with that organization, with that brand. In the field, it's very different. Um, they're all they're very focused on personalizing marketing to local audiences. Um, can, can they have autonomy in program development? Maybe email, just because it works for corporate, isn't the best tool for the field. So they want control over the most appropriate channels, and they want to adapt to those market dynamics. And this creates a lot of challenges, especially from a connectivity standpoint, because you have to empower the field, but at the same time, you don't want to release control at a corporate level. And so if we look at if you're focused on this challenge in a distributed marketing environment, um, what are the benefits? What can you get out of this? I think, you know, first and foremost, it's about improving productivity and time to market. If you can deliver your message faster than your competitors and it's a relevant message and it's the right message for your target audience, um, you're going to win more business and at, at the very least capture more mind share than anyone else in your market. Um, it's about reducing redundant costs. I mean, if, you, if your local marketers have agencies of their own that they're leveraging, corporate has an agency, there are certainly opportunities to improve, you know, cost savings across the organization by, by looking and assessing some of this uh, challenge. 
centralizing access to assets. You know, I mean, does the agency manage your digital assets, in which case they're an outsourced digital asset management provider, and that's very expensive. Um, customizing branded templates. I, I love this idea that you can dynamically deliver uh, a corporate branded template across all your different regions and allow them to customize it in appropriate ways. That's extremely powerful, and I'm going to talk about the technologies that are ca enabling that um, for, for top performers towards the end of the presentation. But I think ultimately the, the, what you can get from this, what you can gain from improving back office operations in your distributed marketing environment is to improve top line revenue growth. And so let's look at more detail by what I mean by that. As I thought about this challenge, I, what popped into my mind was the six degrees of separation to Kevin Bacon, or I think it was the six degrees of, to Kevin Bacon. Um, this was a game, I think it was the late 80s or early 90s, uh, where the concept is it's a small world, and with any, given, uh, with any given celebrity or person out there, you can find within six links, um, you can find a relationship to Kevin Bacon. And so if we apply this concept to this marketing execution chain, um, I, like, I like to call this the two degrees of separation to impact revenue. The question is how can marketers impact revenue in a distributed environment? Um, I think there's fundamentally, there's only two areas that you can focus on. You know, if you have a creative idea, and we're going to start on the left there, you have this creative idea, it's going to go through a marketing operations process. And I call that the first degree. And that process is what it is for your organization. If it's riddled with manual inefficient tasks, or if it's highly efficient in the workflow, um, it doesn't matter. It is the process. And, and when that idea is done with that process, you have an output that can go through one or more channels. And so then the, dish, the, the decision in the second degree is what channel is appropriate. It can go through a bunch of different channels. But as we talked about before and as everyone on the, on the call said, you know, we're really good at a couple of channels. We're not really good at all of these channels. So maybe it's appropriate, if we're going to improve back office operations, maybe it's really appropriate to actually focus on marketing operations processes um, and look at this is the one consistent part of the process. You can pick any channel that you want, but if you can focus and, and cut the fat in the back office, make this more efficient, empower your local marketers with tools that help them deliver a more relevant message, then you can be that much more efficient. Thank you.